Hi. So today on Deep Fried Honey, I'm making chicken pastry, uh, also known as chicken and dumplings, depending on you know where you're from, I guess. It starts by putting half of a chicken cut into pieces in a large pot and covering it with water. Just enough water to cover the chicken pieces. There's really no measurement. Um, I also like to add peppercorns and some salt because I'm a big believer in flavoring every level. Bring it to a boil and let it boil for about 45 minutes till it's cooked through and then remove it from the stock and allow it to cool. We're going to take some of that stock slash broth um, and reserve it to make our dumplings later. Also for our dumplings, we're going to sift together some flour and some salt. And I'm actually using accent seasoning. Um, no real reason. I just felt like it. So... And after you have that sifted together, set it aside as well and strain the rest of the stock that was in your pot. Then you're going to debone your chicken pieces, discard any extra fat, and go ahead and shred it. I normally shred with a hand mixer, but my hands are already dirty. So after you have that done, go ahead and add the bones and the skin back to the broth and add just enough water to cover the bones. Um, this is where I like to really turn it into a broth um, by adding the chicken bouillon. Um, I also throw in celery salt too. And then just let that simmer over medium low while you make your dumplings. Dumplings are super simple. You're just going to take that broth that you took out earlier that still had some of the fat in it before we strained it. And you're going to mix it together with the uh, flour that you sifted together with the salt. Go ahead and roll it out to your desired thickness. Everyone is different. We like kind of a thicker meatier dumpling here so you'll see that mine are, are pretty fat but it's totally up to you after you have your dumplings made and cut into your desired sizes you're going to transfer them to parchment paper and um, this is just so that you can let it sit out on the counter for 30 minutes an hour or so this lets the dumplings dry out and it helps them when it comes to cooking it also makes it so they don't stick together that much um, you're going to take out the chicken and skin. You're going to strain your broth again and add it back to the pot. Add in about half a cup of water and taste it. See if it needs any seasonings. Uh, I added a little bit more pepper and some onion powder. Now you're going to drop in your dumplings. You just want to drop them in the empty spaces. They will plop right back up to the top. Don't stir them. Um, you can continue dropping them in, even if you feel like it's overcrowded, as long as you don't stir it for the first couple of minutes. After that, we're on the, when they're all puffed up, um, feel free to stir gently. And after a few more minutes, go ahead and add in your chicken. So I like to do another taste test here. And if you're anything like my family, tons of black pepper is required for chicken pastry. So cover it, cook for 20 minutes, and voila. You're all done. I really thank you for watching as always, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day today.